Once again, welcome to the second semester of the school year 2021-2022. So you are now having the course of P2, which is fitness training. So our unit one will tackle about the musculoskeletal system or the muscular system and the skeletal system. I would like to remind everybody that this video discussion is not that detailed since the topic is um, already, uh, you have already tackled this in your previous uh, years, like in your high school years, you already have um, discussed this one and the, everything, the information about this topic is on your module. So this is just a light discussion and a explanation about the activities. So introduction. The skeletal and the muscular systems are very closely linked and are often referred to as the musculoskeletal system. All exercise techniques from the strand to bench press a 100 kilogram weight to the stability during the plank require the skeletal and the muscular systems of our bodies to work together effectively and efficiently. Our skeleton provides the framework that allows movement to take place and our skeletal muscles provide the energy to pull our bones and joints into the correct positions needed for different types of physical activity. In this unit, we will look at the structure and function of, the both, of both of these body systems, which will help us understand how we move our bodies during physical activity. We will learn to describe anatomic, anatomically the movements that occur at the joints and explain how these movements takes place in terms of the muscles in action and the type of contraction occurring. We can then use this knowledge to carry out a movement analysis for a specific exercise movements. So later on, on your module, you'll find uh, an activity which will require you to analyze or to uh, uh, examine or to create a movement analysis of a specific action. So as you can see, science and physical education is directly related because our body is composed of the different systems and systems, these different systems are under the science uh, subject. So it is closely related and it is um, an essential part of physical education to study about the muscles and the and the skeletal system or the bones. Skeletal system. So this is uh, a picture of a, a human skeletal system. So the, skele the skeletal system is the structure that gives our shape provides protection for our internal organs and offers a support framework for the attachment of muscles, therefore facilitating movement. Our bones also act as a site for the production of blood cells and a store of mineral, particularly calcium. The average human adult has 206 bones that are divided into different parts, the axial or axial and the appendicular skeleton. So you can see there now the division, the, the axial or the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. Um, under the axial skeleton are the skull, the thoracic girdle, and the vertebral column. And under the appendicular skeleton are the shoulders girdle and the upper limbs, and then the pervic girder, girdle and the lower limbs. So, dili lang mo ma-confuse. Wala lang nako siya gibutang sa ako ang PowerPoint. But in your module, um, this uh, skeletal system, this human skeletal system is identified or labeled. 
ma-identify ninyo which is the thoracic girdle, as a dera ang vertebral column. So, naa siya tanan sa inyo hang module. That is why, as I what I have said earlier, nga, this discussion is light lang since all the details are in your module. And it is, uh, I believe this is uh, self-explanatory. So, dali ra ninyo siya masabtan since the module is uh, very detailed. Okay, so, uh, we will be encountering anatomical terms. So, just read in the modules and then apply mga keywords dito so you could study there. And I have already uploaded it in the Google Classroom so you can download it already. Next, we have the muscular system. So, there are over 600 skeletal muscles in the human body, but do not worry, you do not need to know all of them. So, ay lang mong kabalaka kay dili na ninyo memorize so ng 600 ka skeletal muscle. Most of the muscles you are required to know are shown in figure 9 na anapon siya sa inyong module. You will be able to see the most of the muscles extend from one bone to another, are attached in at least two places, and cross at least one joint. From our knowledge of the skeletal system, we know that we know that muscles are attached to bones by tendons. These points of attachments are either end of the muscles for the origin and the insertion. It is important to remember that muscles can only pull. They can never push. So, ang muscles daw makabira lang but you can never push or tuklod. When a muscle contracts, okay, contracts means ka na bitang mo bend. Okay, di ba pull man, di man siya makapush. So, contracts means ka nang mo bend. Like, for example, sa imong kamot, when you ask money from your mother, di ba, pag, pag imo nang bawi yun imong kamot, that's a form of contraction in your in your arms. So, the pulling of one bone towards another across a movable joint causes movement. Okay? So, in short, again, ang muscles of ang skeleton is very closely related. They work, they work together. Okay? So, kung kuan pa, uh, kuan sila, kambal tuko. So, uh, we will be learning that more on this unit. So, since PE requires movements and the, and the system requires, the system that requires that is the muscular and the skeletal system. Okay? So, kana lang siya ang ako ang gi, uh, gibutang, ang mga definition lang sa, sa muscular or sa skeletal system. Since, again, the informations are already provided in the module. So, you'll have to read it and scan it there. So, here is the uh, activity part. So, this is an example. So, this picture shows a preparation phase of kicking a ball. So, this man is playing a football. So, ang iyang uh, movement is ga-prepare siya para si paon ang bola. So, this is the movement or the full movement analysis preparation phase of kicking a ball. So, unsa ang mga joint ka involve? So, we have the right shoulder, the left hip, and the left knee. So, unsa yung mga joint type? So, we have for the right shoulder, we have the ball and the socket. And then, in the left hip, we have the ball and the socket side. Kay dili man siya, di ba, makonnected? Dili makonnect ang uh, ato ang mga book tone ug atong hip without the ball and the socket. Then sa left knee, the joint type is hinge. So joint movement, unsay lihok sa joint. For the right shoulder, we have abduction. Okay? Abduction. For the left hip, we have extension. Gi extend ang left knee kani kan mura siya gibika para masipa. And then, for the left knee, ang joint movement niya is flexion. Okay? Ay lang, di lang tamabalaka kung nakauna mo o um, tanaw aning the video discussion. Uh, bayi lang ninyo sa inyong module, then magets din ni unsan yung mga abduction, unsan yung mga extension, unsan yung mga contraction, o mga flexion. So, unsay agonist under the right shoulder, we have the middle deltoid. 
for lift hip, we have the gluteus maximus or um, also known as atuang butt or atong lubot. And then the left knee is the biceps, femoris, and the semitendinous and the semembranosus. So those are the agonies. So type of contraction of, of agonies na po ang imong tanawon. So for the middle deltoid, we have the concentric. For the glossios maximus, same, we have concentric. And for the bicep, also concentric. So antagonist. Antagonist for the middle deltoid is the lastimus dorsi. And the glossios maximus is the eliopsoas. Or how do you read this one? So uh, just forgive me if I have pronounced it uh, uh, not correctly. So, in the biceps femoris, the antagonist is the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and the vastus intermedius. So, uh, maybe mag wonder mo what is these terms? These are anatomical terms. Okay, so again and again, these are provided in your first module. Na ani siya tanan dito. So, examine niyo siya. Mo ni siyang example. Because in your exercise, you will have to create your own full movement analysis. So, you need to analyze the picture. The picture is a running man. So, inyong i-analyze. Same sa akong gihatag. Same sa example ganina. Gia-identify niya ang joint. The joint type, the joint movement, the agonist, the type of contraction of agonist, and the antagonist. And that is all provided in your module. That is for your exercise. And this is already uploaded in your Google Classroom ready to answer. Next, for your assessment, you need to take a picture of yourself. Picture ni mo, picture ni mo imong self. You can have it imo habang i. Uh, I don't know how will you set it up. You we'll use a tripod or yung manghod in yung suguon or in yung hang kauban sa balay. Nga picture mo nga naamig ipunit sa salog. It's up to you kung unsa yung puniton. Magpunit ba mong piso nga nahulog, lapis or whatsoever. It's up to you kung unsa yung puniton. And then, you need to create your own full movement analysis about it. So, same, identify ni mo ang joint involved sa imuhang pagpunit sa salog. The joint type, the joint movement, the agonist, the type of contraction of agonist, and the antagonist. So, same lang ang mga activity no nga inyong i-identify, but lahi lang siya o picture analysis. Lahi lang ang mga picture nga i-present. Once again, Kinahanglan, i-attach ninyo ang inyong picture nga na amoy gipunit sa salog. Kamo na bahala on sa inyong gipunit. And then you need to create a full analysis of that movement. Okay? If you have questions, clarifications regarding the, the topic or regarding the activity, you can comment down below so that I would read it up and I will explain it to you again. So, I hope... The first unit is um, not that hard. It's not that simple pod, but it's a bit challenging for you to answer. And then for the deadline, it is already posted pod in the ano. Again, I am reminding everyone that we should strictly follow instructions. If it is a deadline, it's already a deadline. So that would be all. And sorry for the delay of the recording and I will see you soon. Have a nice day.